On today's adventure, we're in northeastern Australia, showing you the best stops on the Great Barrier Reef Drive. It has everything from stunning coastal views, mysterious foods, and since this is Australia, the world's most dangerous bird, cassowaries. Good morning again from Queensland, Australia. We are still on our Australian road trip, and today we woke up at a really strange campground. It was free, and there was RVs everywhere. We barely got a spot there, but it did the job for the night. And today is our last full day with a rental car, and we have a ton planned. Today we are doing the Great Barrier Reef Drive, which is the drive from Cairns all the way up to Cape Tribulation. And at over 87 miles long, there are countless stops worth visiting. So our first stop on this road trip is the Balancing Rock area. I don't know what you really call this place, but basically people just come here and make these balancing rocks. And it's pretty cool right off the side of the beach. Here we go. <laughs> After that quick stop, we are back on the road and we're heading north on the Captain Cook Highway. This drive is so special for many different reasons, and one is the Captain Cook Highway gives you incredible views of the coast, as well as takes you directly towards the Daintree Rainforest. Which is the only place in the world where a tropical rainforest meets a coral reef like this. Not long after, we made it to the entrance of Thala Beach Nature Reserve. It's right behind me, and it's really just a huge field of palm trees, and we're about to take some pictures, enjoy, run around them. Hopefully, it's just gonna be a quick stop so we can head on our way for the rest of the day. What makes this set of palm trees really, really cool to come see is that they are planted in a very specific grid pattern, which you can see from a drone really, really well, and that's what makes it such a beautiful place to take some photos and videos. But other than that, that's all we got for here. We're moving on to the next stop. Our next stop is our first wildlife setting of this drive at Crocodile Viewpoint. So there's no service on parts of this road. So we're taking this opportunity to download an offline map to make sure we can get to all of our destinations safely. But while we're doing that, we're actually at a very quick stop known as Crocodile Viewpoint. And we can see way off in the distance over here, two big crocodiles. <laughs> they just look like little sticks in the distance. Pretty funny. So safe to say we will not get so safe to say we will, oh my God. So safe to say we will be not, oh my God. How about you say it, cause I can't. So it's safe to say we're not gonna be getting in the water here. Thank you. Next up are our multiple stops in Port Douglas, the most visited town on this entire drive. We just made it to Port Douglas and our first stop here is Four Mile Beach. It is this very long stretch of sand, beautiful, tons of people out here and just a great place to take a walk. Yeah, Port Douglas is a really cool spot to spend a holiday or also just get some lunch, walk around, see the marina, and definitely see this beautiful beach that's next to some awesome trees and palms and forest stuff. <laughs> <laughs> One of the really cool things to do at Fort Douglas is the Flagstaff Hill Walking Trail. If you've got some extra time on your hands, this is the perfect spot to have a picnic or just take a walk and really see Fort Douglas for what it is. It's beautiful forest with... <laughs> That's good. We should just add these bloopers. So we've been traveling in Australia for almost three weeks now by car. And one thing that we've noticed at a lot of places is that the facilities here are actually so nice. Behind me here is a bathroom that has a crazy mosaic around the side of it. Absolutely beautiful and clean on the inside. Always have toilet paper. Really an awesome part about traveling through Australia is how nice these places are. So with that bathroom talk behind us, let's keep moving. So one of the really popular things to do at Port Douglas is go to the marina, have lunch, and if it happens to be a Wednesday, you can check out the markets, get some delicious homemade banana it's Tuesday. bread. Tuesday. Oh my God, it's Tuesday. It says, it says Wednesday. Look, look, it says Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have the markets here today. Close by is our next stop, the insanely popular and beautiful Mossman Gorge. There's a lot of people here, holy crap. <laughs> So we've had a change of plans. We are not going to Mossam Gorge today because there was a ton of people and you actually have to buy bus tickets and take the bus, so it seems a little complicated for us. And we definitely don't have time for that since we're doing this drive in only one day. 
So we're headed right now to Daintree, which is the last stop on this side of the river. Now, once we cross the river, we're going to be entering the heart of the rainforest where hopefully there'll be far less people there. From there, we're continuing on to see where the rainforest meets the Great Barrier Reef, the only place in the world where that happens. And at the end of our trip, reaching Port Douglas. No, we were just <laughs> at Port Douglas. Cape Tribulation. That's the place. Yeah. The ferry does not take reservations and is often busy by midday, so we had to wait in line. This ought to be fun. Luckily, we had the radio for entertainment. Fruiting from their trunks. The other species, the eastern tube nose bat. It has snorkel like nostrils to help it breathe as it gorges itself on large fig fruit. It has a very We're moving. Oh no. We're actually moving. This is so exciting. We're the last people on this ferry, which is wonderful because we've been waiting for about almost an hour now. We've been waiting, and now it's time to reward ourselves with ice cream. <laughs> Woo! We literally waited an hour for like what seemed like one minute of a ferry ride, but it's time to get ice cream. Daintree Ice Cream Company is known for its unique flavors sourced directly from within the rainforest, and we weren't really sure what flavors we were getting. Finally! <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't even know what these flavors are. <laughs> Waddle seed. This is Waddle seed, and it sort of tasted like hazelnut coffee. Delicious. Oh my god, that was so good. Literally, I've never tried anything like that. Just gonna pray to the gods that that was good. <laughs> and now there's a ton of people here. Yeah, as always, just the crowd follows us. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you guys, but every time we go to a place, there's just a crowd after us. While driving through the dense rainforest, there are always opportunities to see some incredible animals. Look for, for crocodiles. Are there any crocodiles? Well, <laughs> we both did the same thing. <laughs> All jokes aside, I was getting desperate to see a cat story and even stopped a tour bus to get some intel. What do you see? What do you see? What's out there? Uh, it's a really? Oh my god, I see it! It's Wait. the left! It's walking to the left! I don't see it. We can literally stop right here. But it's so far away. It's the only cassowary we have seen. You're probably wondering why I'm so obsessed with seeing a cassowary. They are one of the rarest and largest species of flightless birds on the planet, standing six feet tall and weighing more than 200 pounds. With their massive talons, they have as much destructive power as velociraptors, which is why they are considered to be the most dangerous bird in the world. I had to see one close and personal. You're really not gonna stop for the only cassowary we've seen. Blake is so excited for cassowaries, he's been looking everywhere for them. Unfortunately, we lost track of the cassowary in the trees here. All right, so when we stopped for the last ones, by the time that we got out of the car, they were gone. And these women told us that there was two more down the road. We are now down the road. <laughs> Can't get out of the car. And they just ran in front of the car. <laughs> They're in the woods right here. In the riverbed, we could see a baby cassowary screaming for someone. Its parents had to be close by. I was so excited, I didn't really think about what would happen if I actually came face to face with the world's most dangerous bird. And then from the trees, we could see it was coming right for us. As it breached the tree line, my fight or flight response finally kicked in. Time to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm running. Don't be a wuss. <laughs> This is incredible. The past two days, all we've been seeing while we've been driving these roads are signs for cassowaries. So much to the point where I was getting upset that I hadn't seen any cassowaries. And then fast forward to maybe 20 minutes ago when I was freaking out when we saw one on the side of the road. It's the only cassowary we have seen. And then we came to this spot and there was one right outside the car. Yeah, and there was so many people just like looking for them because everyone wants to see them. It's like a thing, right? It's a zone, people are looking for them. So everyone was surrounding them, taking pictures. It was just, it was crazy. It was such a cool moment. So we definitely saw probably a mom, a dad, and a baby 
where the baby is still screaming behind us in the river trying to cross to get to the dad yeah. or the mom or, or something we don't know i was very scared like i was running i was about to run ellie's yelling at me get the camera get the camera i'm literally <laughs> sweating getting bit up by mosquitoes in the middle of the rainforest because of this crazy yeah. looking bird they are truthfully so massive it's crazy They're how big. like australia has such huge wildlife it's so weird to us <laughs> After our cassowary encounter, we were happy to head back to the coastline in the Kolki Boardwalk. So our final stop of today is going to be Kolki Boardwalk, which is going to start in the forest and end at the beach. We'll go check it out and see what the hype is about. So pretty much every chance that we've had to see the water today and the potential of seeing the rainforest meet the reef, we've been greeted with very brown water. Now we're coming up to one of our last lookouts and I'm really hoping that we don't see brown water. Well, it doesn't matter because all I can see is the sun. <laughs> And finally, we have made it to the beach to see the true location where the rainforest meets the reef, even though we can't see it. There are truthfully so many other places that you can stop on this road that we didn't get to. In fact, a lot of people actually take multiple days, even up to a week to do this trip. We did it all in one day and it was beautiful, amazing, and one of the best drives that we've had so far in Australia. Yeah, definitely come out and try it out, see it for yourself and try to find a cassowary. <laughs> that was my favorite part, yeah. seeing the cassowary. I know it was. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss the other Australian adventures. And, and we'll, we'll see you next time, time on today's, today's adventure. adventure. Bye! Bye.